I'm here with Flora Liu, the owner of the Coral Museum on Coheal Avenue. She also runs one of the largest pearl and coral jewelry wholesalers in the world. So Flora, tell us about the story behind your family business. My family was in fisherman business in Taiwan, in Pescadores Island. And my father was the chief of the fisherman. But the big typhoon hit our island, so we lose everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so our neighbor teach us the technique of making jewelry. So people eat the meat and leftover is a shell. So actually the shell is from the mother nature we can make into beautiful jewelry. That's how we start our business. So it's a recycling business story, yes. isn't it? You know, when I was little and near the ocean, I always dream about beyond this ocean, where we'll be. So in our home island is Penghu. Then I said beyond that is Taiwan. After Taiwan is Hawaii. So that's my dream when I was a little girl. Why did you start the Coral Museum? And what year did you start it in? That year was 1982. And uh, my mother learned how to write and the painting in Hawaii. So it's a kind of go give back to the Hawaii community. This is my mother's painting and my mother have 11 kids. So because of her, and we decided to have a museum. It's a thankful to the Hawaii community, make my mother so creative. So, so we make the museum to share with the students and senior citizens. So tell us how much the business has grown over the years. Yeah, my parents have 11 kids, and we all in the same business. So my two brothers settled down in New York, and my family settled down here. And we really enjoy our business. But besides our business, we like to do something community. So we teach in the school kids who come to our museum. It's 10,000 kids a year, and we always encourage them. Just pick the shell from the seashore and create into a jewelry. That's uh, how we like to share with uh, local kids. So we come up with an idea about blue hair mermaid, something unique, and the ocean is blue, so blue hair mermaid. So it's affordable, and it's made in Hawaii, and we recycle, so we pick all the shell from everywhere, and add some pearl and gemstone. So I understand you still have strong connections to Taiwan? Yeah, of course, because we have around 300 Taiwanese students in town. So I'm like a mother to them. And one year I get a special award, it's a mother of the year from the United Chinese Society. Also I'm involved with, uh, between the two countries, two, Taiwan and Hawaii. It's, uh, we receive a gift from the city of Kaohsiung, gift to the city of Honolulu. It's a called Third Prince. So we always, like, we just finished um, the Chinatown parade, mm -hmm. and we, our next parade will be Honolulu Festival. So that's a very unique gift as it's a symbol of Taiwan. These are actually costumes. They're made to be worn. They sit on the shoulders. They're very heavy. They're about 30 to 40 pounds. They actually are in the parade. People dress up. We, we have to have two people per costume because they have to change out. It's so heavy and awkward to run a whole parade. And this type of they thing. come from the country of Taiwan? Yes, it was given by uh, the city of Kaohsiung to Honolulu. This is interesting. Some of these are a story that have been sculpted into the stone. It's a river goddess who rescues children from the river. And that's, that's who's represented on the stone. We have a lot of art behind me in the hallway is a lot of art featuring uh, exchange between Taiwan and Hawaii. And it leads us to our amethyst geode. This is our giant amethyst. This amethyst is probably from Brazil, but it's also a geode. What is a geode, Liz? A geode is a hollow stone with crystals inside. They can be very small, they can be huge. So Liz, tell us about this room that we're in now. This is our sculpture room. We have jade, which is the green. We have lots of coral. We even have a 3,000 pound rose quartz. This is the mining room. There are different windows with things inside, all representing got our dinosaur egg over there. We've got some endangered species. We've got Australia over behind you. They all have a different theme. The mining room has some rocks on the side, on the floor. It kind of makes you feel like you're immersed. So what are your favorite things here in the mining room? I absolutely love the um, calcite. Calcite, what is that? 
It is from the North Shore, from a cave, doesn't exist anymore. It was rescued out of the cave by the Hawaii Rock and Mineral Society. It's local rock that came from a cave in Hawaii, so I really dig that. Where are we at now? We are in the international room. Okay. This is where we do our tour for the kids. They get uh, show and tell. Okay. So we take some of these and they get to hold them. We pass them around. I say, what are they? We talk about what they are, where they came from. So I see here, this is where we've got set up the jewelry baking yes. workshop. <laughs> Can you tell us more about it? This is kind of like our, our number one thing that we always have is our DIY. It means design it yourself and you can, you can make um, a bracelet, it starts at $10, and we do a dollar per inch after that. Do we call you to make a reservation to do this? Most of the time it's walk-in. If you want something special, you're gonna have to call us. And so um, when you do jewelry making parties, mm -hmm. do you give full instruction on how to actually make the jewelry yes. to tie it off? We're, we're gonna be available to you to help you, guide you, make suggestions, or if you're too scared to do it yourself to tie off the end and you want us to do it, that's perfectly fine. So what are the hours of operation for the museum and the cost? Operation hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and it is free. This is part of Lou Coral and Flora giving back to the community.